Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. My name is The Game Block. This is Stellaris, a Let's Learn, where Roxas teaches us how to play Stellaris. He's done a smashingly good job so far, or at least I think so. Uh, and we have an event. Incoming transmission from the Artisan Troop. A visitor! This is a joyous occasion indeed. Oh, forgive my manners. I believe introductions are in order. We are the Artisan Troop, a one-eyed, fishy-looking thing. Um, our members are dedicated to, have dedicated their lives to the pursuit of art, music, culture, and all other things which makes existence bearable to a sentient being. Please, if you'd like to share in the wonder of our creations, do not hesitate to contact us. Interesting. Um, yes. So what does that do? Uh, they can basically give you more um, uh, happiness uh, to, your to your province and also give you more unity by being more cultural, uh, increasing the cultural efficiency. They can also give you a, a special building that Basically, uh, if you subscribe to their uh, to their um, ten year uh, letter plan, you can then at some point potentially get a certain event. Okay. That event can give you some uh, unity for all of your empire to yep. enjoy. All right, I now have access to another tradition. What should I go for? What what synthesizes well with discovery? Uh, it isn't what synthesizes best with Discovery, it's what's best for your empire. Fair enough. This is where it's tailored to everything. So you can, if you plan on going a more militaristic game, you can go Supremacy or something like Domination if you're planning on battle. Prosperity is also a good one. Uh, Prosperity and Harmony would definitely make my um, factions happy. Yes. And prosperity would also increase uh, your um, your uh, building building uh, would decrease your cost yeah it of decreases building, your uh, building costs. Yes. All right, eight hundred and sixty nine yes, to basically. adopt the prosperity one. Uh, how many though gives uh, base out ten percent more happiness to your empire? Gives yeah, more unrest. Um, adoption gives effect gives on... mining station build cost minus thirty three percent. The finisher yes. is adopting all prosperity traditions and reduces our terraforming cost by 33% as well. Oh, yeah. that's... Yes. Okay, hang on a second. Before we do that, I want to look at Harmony. Harmony is happiness by 10%, and the other one is consumer goods. Is reduced... Yes. The, the usage is reduced by 15%. They're both really good. I need both of them. <laughs> um, okay. I think... The next one, I will, I will, I'll just adopt harmony just to get that happiness bonus, and then split it between the two. Is it better to have more than one going at the same time, or just focus down one as you go? Focus down one because uh, your cost increases for every single harmony, uh, um, uh, every single tradition you uh, pick, have picked. So okay. The more if you try to pick into more, more it will eventually it will be more expensive to. To choose either, yep. either one. Yep. Okay. Okay, I am almost at my pop cap for boats. I'm at for I'm at a half. Yeah. I almost have things. Oh yeah. Didn't you forgot something? What did I forget now? Active sensor link. Oh, did I? Yeah, I'm just sending it. I need to survey the LO system better. Ah, right. So you can actually see stuff and I can see stuff. Hey, yes. there it is, the Multics regime. Um, now, you are friendly with these guys, right? Uh, yes. I am also friendly with them as well. That's right, because they are a... No, that's his rule of traits. They are a spiritualistic fanatic militarist. Can use full orbital bombardment. <laughs> that's... Oh, that's glorious. <laughs> uh, the uh, purifiers can use something called Armageddon. <laughs> What's that? That has me worried. What is that? Uh, it's the death one. Basically, oh. it, it has a bigger chance of uh, killing your population. 
m b bigger chance of murdering everybody, basically, is what you're saying. Yeah, because they don't care about that. They're just nuking it for nuking it. Ah, uh, they don't. They won't want anything from it. No, they maybe want the land, but they want every single population to die. So if someone dies in the process of you conquering it, what's the? They don't care about that. <laughs> Lovely people. <laughs> yeah. Lovely people. They say they see every single other race as vermin that just need to die. It just it basically declare exterminatus and move on. Yes. Lovely. So everyone hates them for that. Fair enough. We should run the game, I guess, for a little bit then. Yes. While we wait for things to happen, I'm increasing my power generation. Most of my power buildings can now um, be upgraded to various things. And I assume, I think I, I almost have as much army as you have, so we can soon go to uh, fight that thing. Navy. So I can show. So I, this is uh, one of my own provinces that needs to be retaken. So I can show you how it is with the. Um... All right. Wait. I have. I'm at my cap basically twenty six, my um navy cap. I don't know what my army's doing. Can I build anything around these? Is it because I haven't claimed it yet? Do I not have enough points? Probably because it's not part of the Empire. I mean, it's in my space. I guess... Go there. morning. Hello. Roxas, would it be better for me to build the frontier outpost in Essynth rather than having one in Kagaton and one in Alzea? Uh, in uh, which one? In uh, what? Which two did you say? So there are three pl planets: is Kagaton. Essynth and Alzea. Uh, and where are these? Just to the south of your um, Jafab the Devoted. Uh, Jafab the Devoted? You have a construction ship all the way up in... Um... So you see that wormhole? The furthest wormhole that you have above my territory? Uh, yes. South of that. Um, none of those south. You need... I would say either... 
Yeah, because uh, now you're too close again. Uh, you need to move it to like a Gorman or something. Okay. Fair enough. Basically, these have. You can see the uh, distance from uh, your, from your station to that. Um... Yep. These are hegemonic imperialists. Oh, even good they're... lord! That is a lot of space spiky balls of doom. We're going to kill them. <laughs> They're called Ruby Crystal taken... Shardlings. Holy crap, so, yeah, those I... are horrifying. Yep, That's I'm losing fail. ships by the dozen. I think I may just need to build, start just building just, like, just destroyers. That's one done. Uh, missing military tech cruisers. Sure, why not? So I just have some hegemonical imperialist that is uh, egotarian. Energy storage capacity done. Uplink miniaturization improved assist research. Nope, another one. Plasma thrusters done. Oh, hello. Chromato metal armor. I'm gonna enjoy destroying this army. You wanna help me? Uh, my fleet is otherwise engaged. I can send you four destroyers. That's not enough, sadly. Sorry, two destroyers. Yeah, that's definitely not enough since uh, I need a lot of troops, a lot of boats. A lot of boats. I'm murdering space spiky crystal balls of death. I'm trying to engage lesser fleets. Like, just overwhelm them with firepower. I should be able to help you soon. Right. Three destroyers. So four and nine now. I'm in the Chow Thea system. Let's go destroyer assembly yards, make that faster. Synchronized defenses and the solar panel, why not? Cool, done. Back to refit and upgrade all your boats. All right. I hate the problem with not having enough uh, minerals to build stuff. Yeah. Or not enough energy to move out your army. Fair enough. It's so I'm tedious. Still in the process of upgrading all my stuff. Power plants. Build a power plant and upgrade that one. Done. Just to make it so that I have enough energy and stuff. Engineering has no science. Oh no, Scotty, what have you done? Where have you gone? Let's get you for your research experience. It's fine. I also need to do more influence at times. Third Armada has been fully repaired. No upgrades available. No upgrades available to you either. Right. I have a six and seven. So six destroyers, seven corvettes. I think I may need to build some more stuff. Potentially. Build two more destroyers. I'm now up to plus 50 minerals per tick. Like, yeah.
Oh, yep. I found another hostile fleet in Tibor. Right, let me just make that sector of space safer for me. <laughs> right now, I'm just building up my fleet so I can uh, attack the uh, yep. attack my own planets. Building some cannon fodder for you. System survey done. We are now losing credits again for some obscure reason. I don't know why. Power plant. You've been upgraded, you've been upgraded. Oh, you can be upgraded too. Nice. I like upgrades. Upgrades are fine. Cannot clear that tile. Cannot, aff oh, cannot afford to clear the tile. Right, that's the difference. Timed project. Debris in Tibor. Right, more space crystal crap. So yeah, I actually have some special projects in your land. Because of the crystalline debris? No, uh, for um, my um, uh, precursors. Ah. I only need one Whoa. precursor. There it is. And we've destroyed all those guys, and time to get you. Time to murder face. Murder McMurder face? Yeah, murder McMurder face. Those crystalline entities are not holding up too well. You lot go back that way. No. But we very soon have to declare war on the uh, on the uh, death invaders. The death invaders, okay. But yeah, because they just they just took a province from my. Look at there, he can. Oh, nope. Nope, 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 nope. Yeah, anyone knowing uh, EO4 knows, or just any other uh, game knows that that's a declaration of war. So now I'm focused on researching colonization. Mount Graveyard Expedition. Tibor 4 issues special project. Engineering armor. I'm first. I just need this tech because yeah. Uh, um, not contact situation log. Scientist is skill three or higher. The Interstellar Pogavan Coalition. A materialist, a xenophobe, and egalitarian. And now they're even bo pushing out borders, f uh, my borders. Yep, alright. 
So yeah, build up to your fleet strength. Build what you can. I'm build. I'm increasing my fleet strength or fleet size now. I'm actual. Damn it! I need two for that. Damn it. Non-aggression pact from my, my northern border. Nice. Non-aggression with Maltics. Leader died. Science. Sure, why not? Nice research speed on particles. Um, my opinion of the... Uh, oh, um, uh, the differing is opinion of me, right? Yep. Is negative 1500. Ouch. It might not have helped that I'm constantly ins uh, insulting them. Yeah, though that doesn't seem like that would help at all. Alright, let's see if there's any upgrades I can make to my destroyers. I have a science ship that I can just call other science ship. Got nuclear missiles. I need. First, I need to take care of my. I have primary system. The one that turned rogue. Yeah. Hang on a second, I'm upgrading to a new class of ship. The Mark IV. But that is all we've got time for. The episode has gone way over time. And uh, in the next episode, battles, death, destruction, and space debris. We'll see you next time. Thanks for tuning in.